I'm well aware that this is common sense, but whenever we want to become experienced at something or get really good at something, the only way we can achieve that is by actually doing that thing, right? The only way we can do that is by executing the thing that we want to become good at. But so much of the time, we're just looking at screens. We're just watching videos about it. We're just educating ourselves about it while not actually doing anything to gain experience in that field. And so in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how I stopped just watching YouTube videos about film sets and what they're like and set etiquette and how instead I actually got myself onto a film set where I could practically learn in real life what that experience is like. That's what this video is about, so let's get right into it. So this story actually begins all the way back in March of 2019 when I received an email from a production company, Tailored Films, regarding whether or not I'd be interested in presenting an upcoming kids TV show for national television. And essentially that one email led to essentially three seasons of that kids TV show for national television, which I co-presented. It was an amazing experience. The show is called Ace My Space. It's still being televised here in Ireland at the moment. Um, and that is really, really, really cool. Apparently the show's actually gone international and it's really big in, I think, like Korea. But anyways, that is not the point of this video. I'm not trying to plug that TV show. Uh, basically what that production did, what that experience for me in front of the camera did was it developed a relationship between me and a production company that exists within the professional filmmaking industry. Because not only does the production company that made that TV show tailored films, not only do they make, you know, kids TV shows, but they also, when well, they make a number of things, but they also make feature films. You know, and that's what always really, really excited me about their work. You know, they are really right in the industry that I'm so passionate and excited about. And essentially over the years of this show being produced, I would have one or two meetings with one of the people at the production company. And, you know, we just discuss some of my aspirations for filmmaking and, and, and some ideas they have for how we could collaborate. And to be honest, COVID got massively in the middle of that. Like in about 2020, there were a few meetings going on that could potentially have led to some very interesting things. But unfortunately, COVID really like just split that down the middle and said, okay, Sean, forget about this for a while. Uh, and then at the beginning of 2023, I had my first meeting with them uh, in quite a while where you know we actually got to sit down and, and talk about a few potential things that we could work on in the future. And one of those things was essentially this. Sean, we're making a feature film, exciting cast, exciting script, exciting everything. And basically on one or two of the weeks, we probably could do with just a bit more assistance. We could do with a bit more hands on deck would you be able to help us out on set? That was as simple as it was. I had a relationship with this production company for the reasons I'd explained, and they were making a feature film. They knew that I was really interested in, you know, getting onto professional sets. And so they were kind enough to ask if I would be willing to, to, to help out, to, to just literally lend a helping hand. And of course I said yes. I jumped on that opportunity without a doubt. Now, initially I was only meant to be on set for like one or two days. Um, and, and, and I was absolutely happy with that. And to be honest, at first, I didn't even think I was gonna get paid for this. I didn't even think that was a thing. Um, but essentially then February rolls around. So we had the meeting in, in kind of like very early January, maybe late 2022. Um, and then, yeah, it actually like popped up in February. The opportunity popped up in the first two weeks of February where I spent two weeks on, on, on a film set. It literally went from two days to two weeks and another two days then in the fourth week. Um, I, I, I got, what, what's that? Like 12 days on a film set um, as a trainee AD, which believe it or not is like an actual title. Like that's an actual, part of the AD department on a film set. That is a paid role, a paid gig, similar to camera trainee, um, which is just awesome that that's a thing. Like you're paid to learn about a film set. It's unreal. And how was the experience? It was fantastic. I mean, to be honest, I think like my mom was a little bit worried that I would almost fall out of love with filmmaking because of the experience, because it was so intense. Um, it was a lot more intense than any of my own productions had ever been, which to me was like a massive surprise because I'd always, I had been familiar with those being the most intense thing possible. But like, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's very early mornings with long, you know, 10, 12 hour days. And then other, other times it's like you start really late, but you finish really late. 
And yeah, they're just really long days. Everyone is really grounded. You know, you, you haven't probably got that atmosphere of like the magic of cinema all day. Because at the end of the day, this is just people's working life. They show up to set, they carry out a role and they go home. And I suppose that sort of magical vision of filmmaking and the, the magic of it all, it isn't really present when you're on set, which is completely fine. And, and that's probably how it should be. Because I think if you were to be caught up in the magic of filmmaking for the entire time that you're on set, you know, five to six weeks or way longer if you're on a TV show, you know, that would probably get exhausting, you know, to constantly be enthralled in the magic of it all. When it becomes, I suppose, a very grounded, practical experience, which it is when, you know, I'm going to charge walkies or I'm bringing chairs around for the cast or I'm making coffee for the cast or I'm talking to some of the crew and I'm seeing what they do as well from a sound department side or a, you know, camera department side or, 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 or even the other ADs. It just becomes very practical and grounded and, and contrary to what my mum thought was going to happen in terms of me falling out of love with it because it's so intense and because it's probably not as magical as your mind assumes it's going to be, I actually fell even more in love with filmmaking because of this experience, which is so exciting and so relieving. And um, yeah, I, I actually fell more in love with filmmaking. I'm not entirely sure why that happened. I think it's because typically like my form of work which is editing a lot of the time and, and and making client videos for people here and there and you know making these videos i'm very alone like i really am quite alone and um while that doesn't feel like an issue while i'm doing this type of work it's just something that like i accept i wake up and i'm like yeah this is cool that's 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 what i'm doing um it doesn't feel like an issue at the time, but then when you get onto a film set and you're surrounded by so much people and there's just so much, like, I was gonna use the word banter and I'm very glad I didn't. When there's just so much chat and crack going on all the time, it's it's so refreshing in comparison to just me being in this office just working all day. And, and when you mention like the term nine to five on a set, like some of the people on set just like shiver at that thought, which is hilarious. I think that's why I love the set so much. There was just so much people around the place all the time. And for me as someone who, yeah, spends a lot of time on their own, it's really refreshing and wonderful. And it's just nice to be out of the house and see new places. That's always gonna be a good thing as well. And if I was to have learned anything over those 12 days, if I was to come up with a kind of conclusion from those 12 days on set, it would probably have to be, you've gotta be like, you, I suppose you just have to have a very good work ethic and good discipline and very good communication if you wanna be on a film set. You obviously have to be willing to put in the long days with sometimes little reward. Um, you've gotta be willing to do all the little things that make you good at your role, specifically for me as a trainee AD. You know, there were tiny little gestures I was adding into my workflow, be it like when I was making tea for someone on the set, I, I would spot like a biscuit they really liked and so I'd bring them a biscuit with that tea and then that would just make them a tiny bit happier even if they didn't really notice and they thought I might have just given them something random. You know, you, you gotta be working at doing all those little things while also just having the work ethic to be able to get to set early and get on get there on time um, and, and, and be committed throughout the entire day and have a good attitude throughout the entire day as well. But then on the flip side, as I mentioned, yeah, communication, that's really key and just building relationships with the, the other people in your department and uh, the, the people in the other departments as well, you know, just to avoid any tension because there are stressful moments on set. You do spot that around the place and that wasn't even necessarily on this film set, but just on other film sets that I've been acting on in the past. You see one or two side eyes, you see one or two, um, you know, eye rolls or something like that. And, and I think those are inevitable on a film set because of the intensity of it all. But I think, you know, it's, 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 it was great to see how communication can like, dilute that kind of tension as much as possible which is something to, to be strived for something that something that should really i suppose um be be celebrated when avoided that's really important so those were my 12 days on set and by the way if you're wondering you know what film it was on it was on a film called bring them down uh which is being produced not only by tailored films but also you know movie are having a massive role to play in, in the production of that film as well which is so cool because i really admire them as a production company um and i don't really want to say anything else because i i don't want to get in any trouble so that's all i'll say that was the film um, and look for it when it comes out in a while because uh, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be spectacular. Overall, I just seriously recommend that you try and pursue something like this, try and get onto a film set because apart from mentioning what I learned earlier in this video, I think what I also learned is just not something practical, but I suppose I gained experience 
and that's more than something I can put into words, but it's just a general understanding of, you know, how the different departments communicate with each other and how how scenes come together and and all, how yeah, like that is that is a really big thing to learn because again, you can watch as I said at the beginning of this video, you can watch as many YouTube videos as you want. You can you know, you can, you can sit in front of a computer and just do research all day, but I really do personally think that ultimately what's going to, you know, make the difference is, is real life experience. And so that's why this is really important because that sort of understanding, that, that, that internal thing that you develop when you're on these sets that you can't probably write on the list, but something that you just have in your head and your heart, that is key and pivotal. And if you want to be a director like I do, it'll just make you a better director because you will have more experience of what that environment is like. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next YouTube video. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Sean Tracy Film, if you're interested. Um, and if you want to see the more fun side of things than just me talking to a camera like a talking head, I recommend you do that. Otherwise, have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Oh, and of course, uh, yeah, stay stellar. Forgot to mention that as well. All right. Yeah, cool. Cheers.